Welcome back. I'm Greg Reyes, and today we're going to talk about incubators and accelerators. Incubators and startup accelerators are two types of programs that can help startups accelerate and speed up their trajectory, their momentum, their revenue, and their access to capital. I'm Greg Reyes, and we're going to talk about the differences between incubators and startup accelerators. If you're a startup, the technology can get a little bit confusing, and this is made worse by the fact that startup accelerators and incubators sometimes use these phrases interchangeably. Let's start with accelerators. The core idea of an accelerator is that it's a fixed program, typically three or four months, and these programs invest in companies directly in exchange for equity. The investments can definitely vary, but a typical program will invest somewhere between fifty and dollars and $150,000 in a company typically in exchange for equity, usually six to seven percent of that business. Over the next three or four months, that startup accelerator typically works with those founders, works with that team to help them get through the next stage of that startup growth and trajectory. That can be any number of things from helping that startup tactically through solving specific problems, helping them figure out founder, co-founder, helping them figure out product market fit or other key aspects that a startup may be trying to figure out. There are a number of well-known startup accelerators, including Techstars, Y Combinator, 500 Startups. Some of these more popular programs invest around $120,000 for around six to 7% equity stake in a company. Each program is unique and the attributes of the program are really meant to benefit the founders. These programs offer a community, mentorship, networking, and access to capital through a number of activities, including demo days and introductions to prominent VCs or investors. So as the name implies, accelerators accelerate a startup. Typically startups have elements of the startup in place, maybe the founding team, the core product, but they're looking to accelerate the trajectory of their company. Sometimes companies that are accepted into these programs only have a vague idea of what they're gonna work on, but it's more typical for these companies to really have an initial formation of the direction, initial formation of the team that's gonna go after it, and in some cases, quite a bit of progress on traction toward that startup goal. Accelerators invest a substantial amount of time and money into the process, and because of that, there is a lot of competition for the application process. To apply and get accepted into one of these programs is highly competitive, but the competitive nature means that there are more eyes on your company if you are accepted. In fact, in some cases, being accepted into one of these programs can be considered a prestigious prize, almost like being accepted into a prestigious university. Accelerator programs will often pair founders with mentors, provide technical expertise, resources, and experts to help the company succeed. Incubators, on the other hand, are less likely to take an equity stake in your business and they're less likely to invest capital in your business as well. Most typically, incubators are set up in companies' extra lab space, they're set up in extra office space, and they're bringing startups together either to create energy and synergy in a particular technology or direction, or bring like-minded experts to one location or one place. Incubators can be a great resource for finding talent, testing your idea in a particular market, and making sure that you're heading in the right direction. Incubators are less likely to provide that cash incentive and investment in your startup to really get it going. Incubators are a great place if you're really just percolating over an idea, you have some sense of what you might do, but maybe you haven't even formed that company to begin with. That can be a good proving ground to kick ideas around, get the ball rolling, and see if you're going in the right direction. Action. Most incubators tend to be centered around a particular company or a particular space. So if you're in a particular vertical area, whether it's biotech, pharma, medicine, robotics, or something else, look for incubators that give you access to tools and technology that may otherwise be out of your reach. But incubators are less likely to provide that financial incentive for your business. Incubators, similar to accelerators, may offer some mentorship, but they may also charge a small fee to offset the cost of that office space and some of the investment that they're taking as well. So look at incubators as a low touch way for businesses to incubate or work with startups and look at accelerators as a true investment in a startup to help them succeed with an equity component involved as well. While there's lots of similarities between incubators and accelerators, there's also significant and differences. There's a lot of things that are common across the two, both the community aspects, training, mentoring, but there's also a lot of distinct differences. First of all, incubators are really about incubation. They're not really taking an equity stake in the business, nor are they investing significant dollars in that business as well. 
On the other hand, accelerators tend to be a fixed program, a fixed duration of time, typically three or four months, and they're typically investing a significant amount of capital into that business as well, often up to $100,000, $150,000. So if you're just at those early stages, an incubator can be a good fit for you, but if you're further along, an accelerator program can provide you with both that seed funding and offer the instruction, the mentorship to really accelerate your traction on the path to stardom. I hope this helps you understand some of the differences between startup accelerators and incubators. I have some exciting news on the accelerator front, so if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can learn more about that. I'm Greg Reyes. I love talking about entrepreneurship, technology, and design. I hope I'll catch you on the next one.